How feel to be here? How does it feel to be here? It feels great. Are you surprised that it came so soon? I'm surprised that it came so soon. It's something that you always have to do, but the time is always ready, no matter what you do. It's always ready, no matter what you do. It's always ready, no matter what you do. It's things that, you know, I'm always going to be ready for, you know, it's things that happen and things that you just got to remain prepared for and any situation like this, I'm always going to be prepared. How far stretched out are you? Where are you at physically? How are you physically? I feel great. I feel 100%. How many, in terms of innings or pitches, how far do you feel? How many innings have you lost? 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 No he tenido mucha, eh, mucha salida esta temporada, eh, apenas que está empezando la temporada, pero en lo que viene de spin training tengo como una tres salida, cuatro. I haven't had many innings, you know, obviously the season just started, but you know, when I consider spring training, I've had like around three outings. Okay. Have you ever pitched out of the bullpen before outside of spring training? Fuera de spring training, tú has lanzado saliendo del bullpen. Fuera de spring training? Afuera de spring training, tú has tenido la oportunidad de pitchar saliendo del bullpen. No, todavía no, no tengo ningún no, I haven't had that experience. This, this will be my first. I think it was Kanan who posted on social media the kind of reaction when you were getting called back up. Just what was it like in the clubhouse when you got the call to come back? Yo creo que fue Kanan que puso el video de tu reacción cuando recibiste la llamada que iba a subir otra vez. Hablaron un poquito sobre esa situación. Sabes, son siempre en esa llamada uno siempre va a estar emocionado, sabes, porque una llamada de Grandes Ligas es algo que emociona a todo el mundo, sabes. No importa cada vez que lo hagan, siempre uno va a estar emocionado. You know, no matter how many times you get that call up or no matter how many times you get called to come to the big leagues, it's always going to be an emotional event, you know, and no matter if it's your first or your second time, it's always going to be an emotional event. And, you know, for me, you know, when I got that call, it became emotional and something exciting. I'm really excited to be here. What do you feel like you learned in spring training or how did you get better in spring training? Que es algo que tú aprendiste en la liga de, de primavera, que también estás implementando entrando a esta temporada. Eh, bueno, eh, lo que he aprendido de, de la temporada pasada, la... De, no, de Spring Training. Oh. Que es algo que tú has aprendido o algo que estás implementando entrando, entrando a esta temporada. Eh, bueno, siempre el mismo plan, ¿sabes? El mismo plan, siempre ejecutar los picheos y eh, trabajar siempre en todo. Tratar de mejorar todos los picheos siempre, pero o sea, no tengo ahora mismo un punto específico, siempre mejorar todo, tratando de mejorar las cosas que debo de mejorar. You know, right now I really don't have anything specific. If anything, it's just a just the same mindset: continuing execute pitches, continuing bettering and getting better in every situation that I can. And as a pitcher overall, um, I can't really point anything out that that I've been working on specifically or something that I got better at during spring training that I want to implement uh, going into the season. But overall, it's just the mindset. You know, just continue to be good and great in everything that I do.